Hey, what is up guys? My name is Rizal, and welcome back to another edition of my Modern House tutorial series. Now today, I'll be building a small and compact house that comes with many cool features, including a basement level entranceway and a beautiful flower bed and balcony area. So without any further ado, let's get right into building it. First up, we lay out the foundation of the building. So let's begin by laying out a 9x7 ring of oak planks that is 2 blocks tall. Now once the foundation is in place, we will next add a large concrete wall over top of it. So from the third block over on the right side, place out two white concrete blocks and make them go up seven blocks. Then we'll add another one of these concrete walls a block over from the first one. And now with these walls in place, let's head to the back and place in another two at the same spots. So once the back walls are in, let's also connect these walls together across the top layer. Then at both the front and back, let's fill in the center of the wall so we have a 3 block gap in the middle, and then also place a block inside here to fill the gap next to the oak wall. Now over at the right side, let's fill in this big gap here between the two concrete walls. Then once we have this wall filled in, let's go over to the left of this wall and remove two layers of the grass blocks between the oak planks. And next, let's extend the white concrete and oak walls down the two layers that we cleared. Then we can replace the floor in here with stone bricks. And lastly, we can fill in the top layer of the oak walls with oak planks. Next, we'll add the frame around the building. So using gray concrete blocks, let's begin wrapping around the first frame a block over and above the top of the oak walls. Now with the first frame in place, let's build another one that is two blocks above it. Now 
Then along the left side of the building, let's fill in a wall by connecting the two frames together with concrete. And now let's also fill in the top layer of the frame so we have a roof. Next we'll add in all the windows, so first fill in the frames to the left of the white concrete walls with black stained glass panes. And then also fill in the gaps of the white concrete walls at the front and back. Now at the right side of the building, let's add two acacia doors at the back of the white concrete wall so there is access to the balcony, and then also add a three long window a block over from the doors. Next we will add in the entrance area to the building. So starting from the left side of the oak walls, clear out a six long line of the ground that is two blocks deep. Then we can clear another three layers to the right of this so we have a six by four area removed in total. Now at the bottom of this, place two iron doors in the oak wall with two buttons above them. Then along the sides of this hole, place in two layers of stone bricks. And now let's add a staircase down to the bottom here using stone brick slabs, and also replace any of the dirt in the floor here that is showing. Next we'll add in leaves around the building for some bushes. So first add leaves along the right side of the stone bricks, and then add some along the left side as well to the back of the white concrete wall. Now at the other side of this white concrete wall, also add leaves that wrap around the oak walls. And then at the front, let's connect the leaves to the right of the entrance to the leaves at the right of the house. So now placing grass blocks between this area of the leaves and add any kind of flowers on top for a flower bed. And then around this flower bed, let's add an iron bar so we have a fence. Now I'm also going to add some flower pots with saplings around the building, starting from the sides of the entrance, and then also on the balcony besides the windows with a bench in between them. Now as for the interior, there isn't many changes that need to be made besides adding in the furniture and decorations, so as always I'll leave that up to you guys, but of course I'll quickly show you how mine looks as an example.
But that is going to be all for this Modern House tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. As always, I'd love to hear all your feedback and don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed as I would be much appreciated. And with that said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Later guys, bye bye.